Hello everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. I have a product here, a lapel, wireless lapel mic and headset mic from, we'll call them Fifine. That's how I would say it. They might have another pronunciation, but that's uh, what I'm going to use for this video. Fifine technology. Now this microphone is the wireless microphone for C Lava Lear lapel mic. And it's the KO31B. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you're interested in pick, picking one up, it's a cool mic. They're very affordable, 40 or 50 bucks, something like that. Really versatile. I like that instead of using an actual line in it, it uses a USB receiver, so less preamp noise. But what I'm going to do, this is more of an unboxing preview video. I will do a really quick sample showing you probably just the lapel mic because the microphones are similar, just that the headset one is in a headset situation and the lapel one is worn on your lapel. In different places on your lapel so but they're kind of the same microphones just a different setup and I'm going to compare it really quickly to this Rode mic that I have this is a line in mic but it's a you know good quality Rode microphone and so we're just going to do a quick comparison so you can kind of tell some of the differences uh, I'm going to be recording on my Samsung phone I do need this adapter that goes from USB to the Samsung input but it does work and I'll be using just a recording app on the phone to record both samples and then I'll upload them to the computer and give you like a real quick idea of how they sound recorded direct. Okay, so let's take a look inside the box, see what you get first. Like I said, it's kind of an unboxing video. You get some information, right? Their little manual. They call this the KO31 user guide. Maybe it's a different product model. I don't know. Probably the same guide. Just information on how to use it. Now, by the way, this does not come with batteries. You're going to need two AA batteries, which are, you know, pretty common. I think everyone's got a drawer of AA batteries around. If you don't, you better fill that drawer up full of AA batteries because you're going to need them at some point for something, right? How to plug it in, how to wear it. If you're using it with a, an Apple or a PC, I, I think they even have examples of using it, yeah, with tablets and whatnot, right? So here's that adapter and as an example of an adapter to go into your iPhone or your Samsung phone, whatever you uh, are using, right? You need the appropriate adapter. A little thank you note from the company. That's nice. Some styrofoam or whatever you want to call that, foam. And so we have the headset mic in here. We have the lapel mic. So here's the lapel mic I'm going to be using, okay? And the foam does come off, right? So you got your lapel mic. I'm not sure if it's omnidirectional or unidirectional or what. Whoops, there goes the foam. The foam is going to act as a, you know, a screen pop filter and wind noise filter. So you're probably going to want to use that. Now, if you're indoors and your voice is def definitely shooting over and above the microphone, then you could probably get away with not wearing it, okay? But outdoors and in noise, and if you're speaking over top or directly into it, you're going to want this foam on there. Let's put that aside for now. I'm moving things around. Let's take a look at the headset. Okay, so essentially it should be the same microphone or similar. Oh, it's a little bit different, okay? So this one is more directional. As you can see, it's more directional, okay? It's going to face your mouth, which may potentially cut out other noises, outside noises. So, you know, you may want to wear that one. You know, if there's a lot of a lot of uh, outside sound coming in, because this is probably going to be more directional. I'll put that on later. Well, it's really tough. Don't take the foamy off. And I would definitely recommend keeping the foamy on this one, because you will be speaking right into it. Get that on there. Almost all the time, okay? So definitely um, consider that. Okay, so same inputs. So it connects to the transmitter with these types of three prong inputs okay so here's the receiver and it's just a USB dongle it does light up when you plug it in you also have a headphone out which is kinda cool if you want to have a headphone out and monitor while you're recording I think that's what you can do possibly or somebody could be monitoring here is your trans or yes your transmitter and I'm trying to get in here okay so you've got your batteries two A's uh, you got your belt clip on the back and I think you can set different channels potentially. I'm not really sure what the set does. There's where you plug in your microphone 
and then you turn it on right here. We'll do that in a bit. Okay, so that's everything. Let's do a real quick test. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug my, not my headset mic, but my lapel mic into the receiver or the transmitter. Okay, so that's in there. Then I'm going to load up my app here real quick. Okay, so I believe if I did this right last time, if I plug this guy right in, whoops, don't forget the adapter. I plug this right in, it should recognize it, and we should get like a little light. I might have to actually have to have this guy on. That might be, there we go. Okay, so that was the problem. I was used to lighting up like that, see the little blue light. Um, the transmitter had to be on for it to, to see it. So we're plugged in, we're getting power from the phone here. And all we're gonna do is a real quick test. So I've got everything kind of just sitting here working away. And uh, we're just gonna record. So let's just give this a go, hit record. All right, so I'm gonna test it first by just So it's obviously working on, on there. Now, I'm going to put it, like I'm speaking about two inches away from it right now, right directly straight into it. There might be some popping noises, but it should be pretty clear. I'm now going to place it in a more of a lapel situation. Okay, so now it's in a lapel situation, and I'm speaking sort of over and above it, directly out. It's just below my chin on the lapel of my shirt and I'm going to actually turn and speak into it a little bit okay speaking into it now I'm speaking directly away from it the other side just some basic tests okay that's sample number one using the Fitfine microphone this guy right here I'm gonna stop the recording and let's unplug this we're gonna go line in with the road mic and I'm gonna actually save this I'm gonna save it. We'll call it. Okay, it's already there. Now let's do another recording. Right now, we do basically the same test. Okay, let's tap the microphone. We know it's working. I'm gonna speak right into the microphone, so I'm about the same two inches away. By the way, this software has like compression, it automatically uh, adjusts levels, so it should be doing uh, input levels automatically and some compression as it goes. I'm gonna now place it down on my lapel in the same position as I had the Fifine microphone in, and we're talking away from the microphone now. Same way, I'm now gonna lean over, speak into it a little bit. And then I'm going to speak away from it, directly away with my head turned slightly away from the microphone. All right, so that's sample number two. And uh, that pretty much finishes this review, preview, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. I will be doing more thorough testing of this microphone, you know, with the headset. I want to try it out using different ranges, see how far we can get away from it. By the way, you can use this with your iPhone video. Now, what I did find, at least on my Samsung phone here, when I used the built-in video app, it didn't recognize the input. It didn't recognize this guy as an input for video. So I had to download a third-party recording app or video recording app that did have alternate audio inputs. Once I did that, I was able to get video and audio from the Fifine wireless mic at the same time, which is what I was going for, because I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to place my phone somewhere and be able to walk away from it without having a cord attached to it, but still get good audio. And if you're using the built-in audio on your phone and you walk away from it, it's going to get really distant sounding. If you have a headset or lapel mic that's wireless connected to that phone, while you're recording, you're gonna get the same sound no matter where you are, as long as you're within range. All right, that's pretty much it. Very, very cool. I don't know if you guys actually saw the screen turned on here, so I'll just show you that. It just basically says the frequency. I believe you can change the frequency. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't read into it that much. This is sort of a preview unboxing video. But the next videos will probably be maybe one or two sample videos. I'll probably consolidate it and do a couple sample videos where I test it out in different situations. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, take care.